If you've ever gone to Wikipedia to look something up, you might have noticed that you can actually edit the page, you can add information to it. That's because this is a wiki, which is a collaboratively created and edited document. Moodle has a wiki too, which you could set up for your students, for example, to do a group project doing some research, or to write a combined essay. So to add a wiki, we go to our course page and we go and click the Turn Editing On button, top right, or we scroll down to the administration block and click the link Turn Editing On. And then in the section where we want our wiki, we click Add an activity or resource. This brings up the activity chooser. Scrolling down, we'll see wiki in the activity list because it's an activity and if we click once, we get some information giving useful teaching ideas about a wiki. And then we can click the Add button at the bottom to add it. The name is important because it's what the students will see on the page to access it. And then you can give a description of what you want them to do with the wiki. And then if you tick the box Display Description on the course page, they will see the description there. Now, Normally, a wiki would be a group work, collaborative, but you can, by changing the drop-down menu here, have an individual wiki, which each student would have their own copy, for example, as a personal notebook. We're going to keep it as a collaborative wiki, however. Then the next thing to do is to choose a first page name, and this must be carefully chosen, because it can't then be altered. There are other settings, but for now we're just going to click Save and Display and get our wiki started. You see now that we need to press the button to create the page. If you don't understand any of the other formats, leave it as default, it's absolutely fine. And we now have our first page of our wiki. To set up the links to make other pages, you add double square brackets around the name you want to give the page. So here are a couple of examples. And this is how your learners would also make new pages on the wiki. Then when we scroll down and save it, we see that we have links. These aren't yet pages until we actually click onto them and create those pages in the same way that we made the first page. So if we click on the reading link, for example, we're then prompted to create that page and we can start adding information to it. This is how your students would then add text and information to a new page. Now if we scroll down and save that page, we can take a look at some of the other links in a wiki. So if we look at the tabs at the top, Map takes us to the pages which have been created and we can access them from there. Currently we only have two pages. History is a useful way of the other learners and the teacher seeing who has changed what on the wiki and in case of any problems that's a handy place to go to. And comments enables you to see and add comments to the wiki.